So hello and welcome to the awesomeness of coins and in today's video we're going to have a look at some coins from Guernsey. So I haven't actually made a video on Guernsey before as far as I know and Guernsey has actually been issuing coins since the 1830s. So here's the actual first double or well, maybe I have made a video on these ones and this is 1831 this is a large copper coin and it's actually quite a large Coin, the largest coin they've actually ever issued. So that is going to be in another video. But in today's video, we're looking at the decimal coinage. So in 1971, so you can see 71, they actually decimalized. They issued their first decimal coins along with the UK in 1968. So here's the 1968 coin there. And because they actually use the UK coinage, uh, their specifications are the same as the UK and there are a few other places that actually issue coins by themselves with uh, equivalent to the UK so we've got the actual Falkland Islands I'll make videos on these we've got the Isle of Man we have Jersey which is close to Guernsey and there's another one that actually don't have is St. Helena and I do have some from Gibraltar so that's actually five places actually is it six places one two three four five six yes yeah, six places that issue their own coins and a lot of these are actually pretty low mint so so you got United Kingdom coinage which actually has you know, tens to hundreds of millions of actual coins minted these ones you know, you're struggling to reach a million coins that are actually being minted for any denomination every year. Generally, the earlier coins are actually lower minted than these more modern coins. So, these ones are probably minted like one or two million, and they probably last about five to ten years. And these ones are probably in the hundreds of thousands. So, the current coins in circulation are the one and two pence, the half. Five and the large 10 pence have actually been demonetized along with the equivalents in the UK and then we have this small 5 pence I don't have the 10 pence coin oh, well poor me uh, the 20 pence I don't have the 50 pence and there is a there was a 1 pound but when the UK actually changed it to a bimetal coin they actually reduced the actual 1 pound coin so here's the actual one from Isle of Man. This has also been withdrawn. And they actually haven't introduced a bimetal one pound coin. And they also have a two pound coins and that actually does circulate still. So let's have a look at the actual animals that are actually on this. Or images, shall I say. There are a few things you need to know. They changed from New Penny to Penny in 1977. So that's before the UK, which is 1981. And on the of this side they actually had the coat of arms of Guernsey up until 1985 and then they actually changed it to the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II so these coins would still circulate but the modern coins have the effigy instead of the actual coat of arms and I actually like the coat of arms because you know this is more like a medieval coat of arms definitely the style of the actual lines and the actual writing so it actually makes more of a medieval feel and I just don't like the actual little coat of arms here and next to the Queen maybe they should just omit that or probably put it on the other side incorporate it into the actual reverse design so that's another fun fact it doesn't make the actual coins more expensive with this uh, because uh, they're actually quite common. So the previous one penny had a garnet. And currently the modern coin has a crab. Then we actually have the two pence coin. And that one has the actual stark windmill. So stark is another role in part of Guernsey's. And currently they actually have a big bat cow on their actual coins. Then we actually have the five pence, as you can see it's a flower. 
and that flower currently they actually have the actual a yacht so the previous coins have a flower and that is the Guernsey lily so a breed that actually lives on Guernsey and you wouldn't expect many endemic animals to be on Guernsey because uh, a lot of them probably coming from uh, mainland Europe as for the yacht, I'm not a big fan of boats, you know, they just sail, I just, um, yeah, just boats just don't get me. And then we have the actual a cow on the old 10 pence. The more modern 10 pence has uh, some tomatoes, it looks like. If you go to Numistar and you actually look up these, yeah, it has tomatoes. Uh, it actually shows you a lot of information. Then we have the 20 pence, which has the actual map of the main island and in a cogwheel. So that's pretty, it's, it's okay coin, shows you an actual map, but it's actually nothing really eye catching. Once again, these ones have the effigy on them. So just the example mintage figures, uh, the 1992 20 pence has 800,000. Then we have, what day is this? 2,003 20 pence. That is actually part of the current series and that actually has a mintage of 732,000. So they're all pretty low mint coins. Uh, to reach 1 million is actually, yeah, it, it wouldn't actually be very common. And the actual current population of Guernsey is actually 62,000. So in the past, it actually would have been quite a lot smaller. So Wikipedia has a good thing of demographics. And it just says the, you know, 63,000 in an area of... So Wikipedia is your friend. So in an area of 65 square kilometres... So it's a population density of about two and a half thousand per square mile or nearly a thousand people per square kilometre. Australia only has like two or three people per square kilometre. So you can see the density is quite high. Not as high as Hong Kong, which has about one half thousand people per square kilometre. But, you know, when you've got a small population like that, 600,000 to a million coins is actually quite a lot. That can actually last quite a few years. If you produce like a million, probably could last 10 years. And another thing is that these coins are not legal tender in the UK. So, you can't actually spend them legally in the UK. But, you probably do find them in the UK because they're actually, the specifications are the same. So, a lot of people don't actually look at their coins. So, they actually, we just pass them off as just normal coins that they spend every day. So here I am on the sold section of eBay. There's a lot of items from Guernsey for sale. Uh, but you know, you got one and a half dollars for a one penny coin. Probably a bit much for me. Uh, do I have this on the actual... Yeah, I got the lowest first. So that's what I like to put on first, just to see what you get. So this one's okay, six dollars for a... Looks like a 10 pence and a 1 pence coin. Uh, you can actually look it up for yourself. Then you got a lot of pre-decimal coins. They seem to sell for like 5 to $10 for the most part. Uh, best offer. That definitely would probably not sell for that much. Then, so we don't have many items for that have actually been sold. $20. But the person probably wanted more like these pre-decimal coins. Ah, uh, that is coin sets of all nations, Guernsey. So that will be one half pence to looks like 50 pence. So a lot of pre-decimal coins, not really much for sale. Basically, I'd just buy them in bulk and just oh, 25 coins from a mint bag, 10 pence. So that seems okay. Uh, postage is a bit much, so I'd probably miss that. But I'm not surprised. 
Okay, so there's not much in the actual sold lots. So if you look at the actual items for sale, you see that they're not too cheap. You know, five to ten dollars per coin. Uh, I probably don't recommend you actually purchasing those. I think they're actually a bit too high, especially for a lot of these. You know, you got half penny. Half penny is quite common. Nearly a million coins. You know, that is not a low mint coin. Uh, I would say these are probably from Mims Corner. They have a a policy of uh, selling nothing less than five dollars on eBay. Uh, I recommend that if you got a few items that you sell for a dollar each, just put them together and sell them for five bucks because uh, fees and that eat it. And also, it's pretty much a waste of time just selling one dollar items all the time. So yeah, you got a lot of other stuff. Not much, you know, cheap decimal coins so these ones are they're just overpriced I personally would not recommend you actually purchasing those so if you can actually get a lot of coins like that um, 10 to 20 dollars then you know it's actually worth more your while and these ones are not for sale these are actually part of my coin collection um, if I did have any other coins for sale I would actually put them on my eBay soon or later uh, but these seem to sell pretty much okay anyway I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video I hope it was informative and it helps you get educated in coins from around the world I'll leave a link to eBay so you can scroll and see what is actually out there because it does change with uh, the actual change in times uh, sometimes people list new coins for a pretty good price uh, but most of the time people will put too high a price on these actual coins but you just gotta look and wait and uh thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye